Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany. We're in this um, video that is being recorded live. I'm kind of um, I'm bringing you along as I get my craft space back and i um, going to be cleaning and organizing a little bit. And I was actually watching some videos as I was doing this and I was looked for some live videos because I thought, you know what? I can kind of chat a little bit while I work here. I'm a bit, I'm in a bit of a chatty mood. So I thought I would, since I didn't see anybody else live, I don't know if I just didn't get notifications or what. I thought I would go live and welcome to whoever's out there peeking in. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, like the uh, title says, I'm getting my craft space back. Hey, Mary, good morning. Hello. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm cleaning uh, my little tower. This is this tower that you see is the tower that I thrifted. And it's got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six drawers. And um, it is pretty filthy. <laughs> I took it out of this space because I had my Christmas village right here. But I went ahead and took it off. We usually... Um, leave our decorations up until Epiphany, which is, you know, the Three Wise Men feast, and uh, which is on the 6th of January. But af at that time, I will be back at work, and I won't have time for anything. So I thought, yeah, we need to put start putting stuff away. And I have a lot of work to do, <laughs> crafting-wise, some commitments that I need to fulfill. And, of course, I enjoy it. So, um Oh, you go back to work today? Okay. Yeah, a lot a lot of people go back to work today. Um, I work at a university, so uh, uh, I got to stay here. Actually, today, I took today, what's today, Thursday? Yeah, the second. I, t I took today and tomorrow off to make it a full, you know, a full week off or two, full two weeks off. So today was actually a day to go back to work, but I took the day off, so <laughs> yay me, <laughs> uh, but I really need it because it was such a busy, busy, um, busy holiday, so, uh, <clears throat> okay, yeah, I think I remember you saying that, Mary, um, so anyway, um, yeah, I already, after I finished putting this back, I will show you what I did with the first two drawers, if you want to see that. But this drawer, this is the, the little tower that sits next to my craft table, which is really just a card table. And um, so I keep, or I try to keep, like, essential things that I will use, um, you know, that I may just need to grab really quick. And this is a drawer where I keep my, uh, you know, paper cutters and some basic punches now I guess it's gonna go this way like punches that I might need often now sometimes other punches do kind of seep in here if I've used them and then I haven't put them back in my garage drawer where I have you know my other punches but I also keep this little bit of um, steel wool and this is a sanding block from the Dollar Tree. I also keep that in there, and apparently I put some pins in there. So I also keep this handy, because that, that comes in handy, and I keep that in this drawer. But other than that, it's just basically uh, my cutting tools go in here. And so I'm organizing that. My corner puncher goes in here too, usually, but I think I have it in a bag where I'm working on, on some stuff, so on one of my project bags so trying to fit everything in here you know what these punches i don't know i think i'm gonna put these back in the punch drawer in the garage so i'm gonna take them out i don't think i'm gonna use them right now for, or for a little while so that goes back so let me go back as you can see how see how filthy that is right here so i'm going in and i'm cleaning everything see uh like this one's clean already let me take the drawer out. That's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> nice and clean. <laughs> but so far, I've already organized this drawer. This is my um, lace and uh, eyelash trim 
drawer mainly, you know, like trim, but mainly lace it, uh, laces and eyelash trims. And um, my friend Laura had sent me some in these cards, which are really nice and hard. And then she just puts a rubber band around them. And that is such an awesome idea. I know that Sherry, my friend Sherry, has also been doing that system. And I've also been doing that system. So I, I like that because then you don't have to use so many pins. And I have a lot of pins in the other drawer, you'll see. Um, I also use on some of them the really thin rubber bands. I think I have it in this one. No, I'll show you in the next drawer. Good morning, Rosita. Happy New Year. How are you, my friend? Nice to see you. Oh, yeah, I've had a lot going on, too. <laughs> uh, hey, you know what? If I had time, I wouldn't mind because I actually enjoy organizing. Um, but, you know, it doesn't stay that way very long. <laughs> so, yeah, I really like how this came out. And um, so that's my uh, laces and um eyelash trims and then these are the other trims and embellishments drawer now these are from the dollar tree all of these little sub organizers are from the dollar tree even this clear one is from the dollar tree and i like having that here because in the other one i had a long row of those cards but here they're kind of all different shapes and stuff so i have you know just random trims there's some laces in here too but they're like bigger coils, like this is nice big coil. This this lace I got from AliExpress. And you see all those pins that are in there? I just stuck them in there as I took them off of other things because I used the rubber band. See the rubber band? Now these I didn't take every pin out, but these are these little thin rubber bands that um, are used for little tiny braids. And I actually really love these for doing this organizing too because they are, see how thin and strong they are you think it would break because from going to from this little circle to this <laughs> long bit you think it would break and i guess it would eventually break if i pull on it hard enough but yeah there you go it did break because i was really pulling on it hard enough but it um it's really strong and it stays pretty well you know as long as you're kind of careful with it okay honey yeah we'll see ya <laughs> i know i know if hubby was here i mean he's back at work so that's why I'm kind of able to have this time. And, and you know, and I've got laundry and all that stuff to do, too. That you know, has got to get done. But I wanted to get my craft space back. And that's what I'm working on right now. And like I said, I, I was feeling a little bit chatty. So I figured I'd, you know, come on and see who is out there and see who will chat with me. Um, and, you know, since I haven't done a lot of videos, I, I, I did put up some videos the last... Uh, couple of days that I had done over the the holiday around Christmas and stuff but um yeah I need to do more <laughs> yeah isn't that awesome they're they come so handy so again this is various trims um of different types not just laces I have one bag where it's got like the shorter bits in here some of these um I got in Happy Mail, so there's other things in there too, but that's fine. Because again, this is embellishments. And I even have like buttons and um, little charms in here, if you know, as much as will fit in there. And I don't know why this random jewelry um, elastic is here. Um, I, think, I think I was working on something and it just got s s stayed here, so that's fine for now. And then my. Um, my eyelids and then a few of these little jemmies that stick i got these in happy mail as well and I also threw these in here so i'm already getting it messed up but anyway yeah so this is like random embellishments um you know smaller things it's another bag of like randomness a lot of this i got in happy mail i kind of put it together there and that fits nicely there and there's still a little bit of wiggle, wiggle room here which i'm happy about so you can see I threw in a glue stick there. Probably doesn't go there, but that's okay. For now, it's going there. <laughs> so that's there. And then you just saw the, the cutting drawer, which is there. I'm glad it goes in and out now because a little while ago, it was all messed up and then going. Okay, next drawer is the stamps. So I'm going to take it out. This is what I've been doing. Taking the drawer out. I have 
to clean this filth. And so I'm just taking, this is a solution of vinegar and water and essential oils. Just on a little rag here. And I'm wiping this down because it probably hasn't been cleaned. Let's see, when did I get this? Did I get this this past year? So it probably hasn't been cleaned all year. <laughs> I haven't cleaned this since I got it. And um, has it been two years? I don't think it's been two years. I think it's just been this one year. Look how dirty it is. How embarrassing, but you know, hey, it happens. So um, I just asked hubby to bring it in from the garage. We had put it in the garage while we had Christmas stuff up. And since I'm bringing it back, um, just got to wipe it down. Hi, Emma. Thanks for joining. How are you? As you can see, I'm just uh, cleaning up my uh, my little drawer thing that I keep next to my craft table. Trying to get my craft space back so I can get some crafting done. Because I've been having withdrawal symptoms from crafting. <laughs> and yeah, I'm still in my jammies. So hopefully not too much of, you know, me is showing up in here. But okay. But I do have to get in there. All right. It's nice and clean now. Not to put the drawer back. I don't think the drawer is that dirty, but I have been taking everything out um, in order to see those random papers. Take that out to actually clean the drawer as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. This one's actually pretty organized because, um, well, unfortunately, I don't use my stamps as often as I want, would like to this year. 2020 might be one of my little New Year's resolutions. So it's pretty clean. Um, I don't think I'm, well, yeah, I see some dust in here. So I'm just taking everything out and see if I can get it all to fit back in here. <laughs> this is all, now as far as stamps go, I think this is pretty much all the stamps that I own. I don't have a lot. Like I said, I don't do a lot of stamping, but I do want to do more. Oops, just dropped one. So, um, but yeah, since I'm cleaning up this space, I might as well just go ahead and get it clean. All right, so this was given to me by a friend, one of these rulers. Okay, and this little random piece of... <laughs> so what I do is, uh, like I said, just spray it. I'm going to just spray it. I think there's little pieces of paper in here and stuff. But that's okay. I'll just wipe them in. Wipe them out. So I'm just going to spray down the whole thing. What have you guys been up to? Let me go back to the chat. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, yes. Happy New Year, Emma. <laughs> yeah, isn't that cool? I haven't really used it much. Um, but this little piece of paper here. Just toss it out because I'm going to sweep here afterwards because I know there's probably dust. No! The other way! Where's... No, I don't want to see my face. Where, oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. No, cut this one out. Okay. <laughs> my stream got interrupting. No, I, I, it actually cut me off. <laughs> thank you for sticking with me, Mary. And thank you for the thumbs up, whoever that was. If that was you, thank you so much. I already see I got a thumbs up, even though... YouTube just totally uh, messed with me and cut me off. But, you know, when you come back, it asks you if you want to resume or start a new one. And I just said resume because why confuse things? You know, I don't even know if I'm going to. No, it was me, I guess. Oh, you know what it was? I got a notification because I had not turned off my notifications. And I think that kicked me off. So I apologize. I have now turned off my notifications. I have gone on Do Not Disturb. So. Hopefully that won't happen again. But yeah, so I finished cleaning out this drawer here. Now I got to put everything back. See if I remember how it was. And if not, it doesn't matter as long as it gets organized. So these are the little stamps. See, these are the little sets of stamps. These are some Bible journaling stamps. And then just some little stamps that I probably got. I remember getting these like on clearance. I think this was a dollar store one. This one I think was a... Happy Meal, or I might have gotten that on clearance too. So these are all just those little stamp sets. And this is a box of, um, you know, a phone box. These are great for organizing because they're very, very sturdy. And so I have one of those in there. 
Then I have my other stamp sets. I think I had these this way, right? Yeah. These are like from the Dollar Tree. That's what a, a lot of my stamp sets are. That, those were my first stamp sets that I bought were these Dollar Tree Hampton Arts. And I have all those. And I think a couple of them actually were sent to me in Happy Mail as well. So I think I have all of them. Hey, Karen. Good morning. Thank you. For, oh, did you do me a, a thumbs up? Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> like I said, I just felt a little chatty. And even though I'm just organizing my space here, getting my craft space back from having it be my Christmas village on Christmas. Um, I thought I'd bring you guys along. So thank you. Thank you for joining me. Now you get to see basically my stuff that I have here. Um, as I put it all in order. Love this. This was a um, Tuesday morning one. And the cheese stamping tool where you put stamps on the window and you can stamp in. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. I've seen those. This was a Happy Mail one. Love that. These were Happy Mail ones too. I, I played around with these a little bit. I don't know if I uploaded that video, but I played around a little bit with that. And yes, some of them I haven't played with yet. See, brand new. So sent to me, but it's pretty exciting. You can build this little um, plant there. Mm. Uh, prayer journal was Christmas gift. Ooh, nice. Yes. Um, I need to probably do a prayer journal. I, I keep um, a writing journal where uh, I keep, you know, my prayers and, um, you know, like chatting with God type stuff. Um but I haven't done like an official, official prayer journal, you know, like that. But uh, yeah, that, that's really cool. My husband and I get together every morning. We, we, you know, pray together. And that's a lot. That's just, I think it's very important. So, yay. <laughs> Good on us for that, right? Okay. Um. So, yeah, the rest I kind of have to just fit in here because I have some, I love this stamp. If you haven't seen, um, yes, Emma, thank you. If I haven't seen um, a few, I mean, a while back, I made a, um, a video where I used pattern paper and this stamp to make kind of like gift wrap tissue. It was so cool. I loved it. So I love this stamp. Well, I'm already getting stuff dirty. Okay. So I only have a few of these rubber stamps that are, you know, wooden. I think I got these in Happy Mail too. So I'm just going to organize them here however they fit. I don't know how to have them before, but they'll fit in here. Love this foot stamp. <laughs> and yeah, I think most of these I got in, in Happy Mail. I know some of them I may have thrifted. I know the dress I thrifted. And I was so happy when I got that. So I'm just putting all these back. I think I thrifted that one too with a bunch of other stuff. I know I thrifted this one in a group of things. Good morning, Lisa. Oh, thank, well, just just go for it, Lisa. Just, I mean, I'm learning too. Um, I have been doing it, I guess, for, oh gosh, it's been almost two years now. I can't believe it. Time has flown so fast. I guess I can't call myself a newbie anymore. <laughs> it's been two years, but... Um, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely still learning. You know, we're always learning anyway. So, uh, you know, just jump in. Just jump in and grab what you got and and do it. Okay, so I guess, love this. I haven't, as you can see, I haven't even opened it yet, but um, look forward to trying that. And then I just put my Distrengths. Look, this is a nice shadow I got with my Ipsy bag, and I wasn't going to use it, so I just put it in here. I'll probably use it for thinking. <laughs> and I like to keep this rubber to put under the stamps sometimes. I thought I had a bigger one, too. And then these are watercolor uh, pencils, so I keep those in here, too, and these watercolors. Was that it? I feel like there was more stuff in here. Yes, there was. I missed it up here. I put it up here this stuff now what's what all is <gasps> you know what i bought this clear ink to do some embossing and that's what this is this box again it's from the samsung like phone you know and um these are all embossing powders and i really need to play with these because there's a random Mer smurf stamp <laughs> oh nice 
nice nice nice nice yeah well what's nice about this is that as you can see these are clear drawers so i can i pretty much know what's in them but yeah that's a great idea for organizing and labeling your stuff so this is my drawer of embossing powders and as you can see this is brand new this ink i have not used it so that's something i definitely need to use so i'm glad i'm doing this because it'll remind me of some of the things i gotta use as well okay so these are just pop in here like this and i think next to this i had these these are from the the dollar tree some pencils and uh i don't know if i'll use them or not but I'm going to keep them here because if I do, this is probably where I'll look for them. And watercolor pencils. Again, I'm just, I think I had them on this side, but I'm going to keep them over here next to these pencils. Just like that. And this is kind of random in here. Just as it fits, you know. All right. Is that everything? Oh, and then my little... I gotta get a new one of these. These are just from the Dollar Tree, those uh, makeup brushes. And I had actually cut it because this had gotten full like that. Oh, you know what? I might just do that again. Do I have a pair of scissors handy? No, I don't. But I'll probably just cut it again and so it's nice and clean. Um, and I can keep using it. All right, one more drawer down. Oops, I missed one ink. And that's how it all just fits there, you know. Random me. I just pressed my, I thought my earbud was falling out. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Save stamp to look in every, yes, absolutely. And I'm going to need to do that when I organize the stuff in my garage. But for this one that's next to me, okay, good. <laughs> this one that is next to me, since everything is see-through, I know exactly what's in everything. Although these bigger ones might be a little bit different. Okay, so this one is kind of like the, this one is a little bit more random. Because it's a really deep drawer. So let me just take the whole drawer out. Ah, for now. And I, I have to clean it first. As you saw with the other one. So I apologize. I hope you don't mind this part. But yeah, I need to get in here and clean it. So let me go deeper. Because I'm getting down my knees for this one. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, you don't want all the... Look at this. Yucky. Yucky. It's years worth of dirt, probably, um, in here. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Okay. There, that's much better. Well, maybe I won't sniffle as much, too. <laughs> okay, there we go. So that is pretty clean. Oh, still a little bit. You know, those little corners or edges... I just kind of have to go over it a couple of times because stuff gets pushed into the very edges. All right. It looks like this is a little bit. Oh, there we go. Thought it was a little ingrained there. It is. That's as much as going to come out. That's okay. Although, hang on. I have a magic eraser. Let me see if I can uh, get my magic eraser. It's not bad. It's mostly clean. All right. Now to take all this stuff out of this drawer and clean it. So I'm right next to my table here, which is not in its final place. I'm going to pull it over. Ah. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, since the shower. Love the plastic drawers. Lots of time I just put drawers out and take the casing to a hot shower. Same with it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But, you know, since I'm, I'm here with you guys, so I'm just going to um, wipe them down if you don't mind. I'll let you see what all is coming out of the drawer. Move my... And I'm just tossing it in here. And I, I'll probably need to reorganize this too because there's some stuff that's been in here that I haven't been using. And uh, like this, these are Christmas stamps. Christmas time came and went and I never used them. So I think I need to put them in my Christmas bin 
And then when I take out Christmas stuff, it'll come out with that and I'll actually see it. Even though it's put away, you know, I'll see it because it'll come out with the Christmas stuff. So all this stuff that I had in here is stuff that I thought I, that I wanted to have read, readily available to use. But have I used it all? Not, not really. Yes, I just dumped the loose in, into the floor because I'm going to sweep after here. Just being lazy. Okay, so I'm just, uh, I'm let, I'll let you look at the random stuff on here. You can ask me about it <laughs> while I just clean this drawer in here. And I'll try to keep an eye on the chat in case you want to ask me something. Oh, yeah, Mary, they're great on everything. So, Lisa, it, you know what, Lisa? It's okay to be afraid. I don't think there's, I think being afraid is normal and natural. And maybe even it's a good thing because it's like our defense mechanism, right? But the important thing is even if you're afraid to just go ahead and j jump in and do stuff um, because that's when you become brave, you know? Um, and I'm sure you've heard this. Being brave is, does not mean that you're not afraid of anything. Being brave is that even though you're afraid, you... You go for it, you try it, you overcome, you know. And if you're a praying person, you know, you can ask God for help. And um, and even if you're not, you might want to try it sometime, <laughs> you know, and, and he will help you. So a little word of encouragement there. I hope it, it helps. So, yeah. And I'm, I'm preaching to myself, too, because sometimes I get afraid of stuff and then I you know, don't, don't, uh, I'm not brave, and I just stay in my little afraid corner, <laughs> so anyway, I hope that you will consider that, it's okay to be afraid, nothing wrong with it, but let's try to kind of maybe, uh, go beyond it, how's that, <laughs> okay, there we go, now that's a clean drawer, see, much better. All right, so let me put it back here and see how I can organize. What am I going to actually keep in here? So the drawer right above it was the inks, I mean the stamps. So right here I kept like my other inks, like my big ones, like these. Whoop. These color box inks, which I love, and I thrifted as you can see. And it was actually for half that. I paid $1.50 for these. So even though some of them don't come out of some, I have a couple of them that are actually jammed and I can't slide out. For $1.50, it was still worth it to get these. And then some of them have broken off and stuff, but I still love these. These are great. I have this, and this set of colors and then this set of colors so I think I have a nice variety there and they had more there and I just couldn't get it all at that time I have this lightweight spackling they sell this at the Dollar Tree and uh, let's see if it's dried out no it's still good this is good to make um what do you call it um oh what do you call it Emma <laughs> to do not embossing but texture paste so you just mix this in with whatever ink and it makes some nice or paint, you know, and it makes some nice texture paste. Now I got to clean my finger. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else I had in here. Okay. So I had these sequins. So this is before I got a, a bunch of Happy Mail sequins. I was trying to organize them by color here. These are the sequins from the Dollar Tree. And so I still have them in here organized. I'm not going to keep them in here. But you know what? I, I got to find my other sequins. I think it's in the other drawer and maybe put them together with here. And I have some empty drawers here. Oh, drawers. I mean, little spaces. These are, you know what these are? These are furniture tacks. And I just thought they might come in handy for something because they're so pretty. Aren't they pretty? I mean, I could even chop off the, um, what do you call it? the nail part and use that as an embellishment so I'm gonna leave that there because that still might be a, a cool thing to keep so 
Um, I'm going to leave that in here. Just have to bring some more sequins down here some more. See? Again, these were from the Dollar Tree, so they were already separated into little bags. And then this container is also from the Dollar Tree. It's neat. I think it's supposed to be for pills or something. Because it, um, I've seen them come with little labels for the different days of the week. And I think there's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. But they're awesome for organizing these little things. You know, they just stack one on top of each other like that. I have three of those. So I already said my Christmas stamps I'm going to put with my Christmas stuff. So I'm getting that out of there. Then I have all these buttons. So I have, most of these are old buttons. Not necessarily vintage. <laughs> Although I'm sure some are vintage. But yeah, and I tried to, some of them group into baggies, as you can see. Let me see. Um, some of them came, I think I thrifted, I, I, like a tin of them. And I started sorting through some of them. These are just plastic, but I thought they were pretty. So, and I also sew. Not a lot, but, you know, I do, so it's, I wanted to kind of put some of them together. Oh, and some of them I got from my mom, too. So she's, she's the seamstress, so she sews, and she has tons of that kind of stuff. Okay, the other thing that's in here is, like, the gesso, because I want to have it handy. But the gesso is actually too tall, so I can't close the door. I have the gesso like that, so it lays this way. So I'll wait to put it on top. Then this thing, now tell me, those of you that are more savvy on this stuff, this is water-based varnish, protective sealer. So I have used this a little bit, but look, it's from 1994. <laughs> so tell me, am I just wasting space by keeping this? I mean, is it still any good? <laughs> I have used it, and I mean, it seemed to work okay. Uh, let me see if it doesn't stink too bad. Doesn't smell, doesn't stink. Does have a light, you know, varnishy smell. <laughs> but it's really old. So I don't know, I'm going to keep it. Because what I was thinking of doing, which I haven't done yet, is making my own Mod Podge uh, with watered down glue and then a little bit of this. Since this, this is a sealer, and the thing about Mod Podge is that it's not just a glue, you know, it's a sealer. I thought maybe that combination might work, but anyway, I haven't tried it. I, but that's kind of why I kept that around. Okay, and some Aline's Tacky Glue, which might be getting... See how that's kind of like... Uh, yeah, I don't know how good it is, but you know what? I'm going to leave it because there's still... It feels like there's some in there, like probably about a third of that bottle. And another jar of button. Oh, no, this is like a random stuff jar. There's some buttons in here. And it looks like, oh, yeah, I remember my sister-in-law gave me these earrings. Um, and because um, she was not going to use them anymore. And actually, I might, let me keep these in mind because I'm going to be doing Dear Julie Julie's Just Junk Journal Challenge this month. Later in the month because I've got other stuff to do right now. But one of the things that she allows is one piece of jewelry. And I think that these earrings, both of them together, will count as one discarded piece of jewelry. So I'll try to remember that. But yeah, there's some buttons in here, but I'm not going to bother to to change them except for these because they're in a bag already. And I'm going to put those in here in this button jar. So these. I wonder if it'll fit up here with my embellishments because I have embellishments up here. Yeah, you know what? Since, since these are like little embellishments of sorts or I can make little embellishments out of this small jar, I'm going to put them up here because see, I also have these little baggies of these like charms and random things in here. So I'm going to still leave this here, but I'm going to move this jar up here since it is small and it just happens to fit there. I may, you know, go to it more if I have it up here with my embellishments. So that's my rational station for that. And then I have these, um, these little um, micro beads that I thrifted a while back. I'm actually, I gifted some and I only kept these because they were the Christmas colors, red, green, gold, and white. And the others, I don't know what I did with them. I put them in a little bag. And they're somewhere else in the garage probably. So, But I am going to go ahead and keep these here for now. Let's see what happens. Well, you know what? Actually, these need to go. Hold on. Okay, I have a little 
basket here of, uh, there's, let's see, my little stickles. Ooh, I gotta clean this basket, I think. Um, yeah, let me do that. Let me just throw this in here for now. These, um, these are key rings. <laughs> and this is a random inker for a stamp pad, you know, like a office stamp pad ink. And these are my Glimmer Mist, which, again, I don't use enough. And I have them in here, so I'll have them easily accessible. But I just, I guess I don't really reach for this drawer too much. I need to do that more. I got my Glimmer Mist. And a dauber I thought might be fun. It's just a purple dauber. This is for, like, plain bingo. And some uh, glitter. And I got to clean this. So let me just wipe this. Let's wipe this. So everything's nice and clean finally so i hope so i have somebody talk okay hope oh yeah i have missed something i'm sorry let me see who else came in malia how are you um could you some nice varnish with my paper beads i've been making yes polycrylic min wax you can get in three different finishes and it's really awesome because it's water-based okay and it's cheaper than any other thing can buy in your country. Amazon has it. Okay, awesome. Did anybody say anything about whether this stuff expires? Because, like I said, the one I have here is water-based. This is water-based varnish, which is great, but it's old. <laughs> okay, so let me put my glimmer mists back in here. And I think it made sense to me at the time, since that was glimmery, to put my stickles in here and the glitter so i'm thinking i'm gonna put the micro beads in here too as you can see i don't have a lot of glitter <laughs> this is this is it so um and let me see if these will fit back in here i think i'm gonna go ahead and let go of that um ink uh, i don't know that i'm gonna it's blue that i'm necessarily gonna use this so i think i'm gonna i'm gonna uh put that aside to the stash and this dauber too, I mean, it might be fun to use, but you know what? I'm I'm not going to, I think I'm going to de-stash that too. So yay, a couple things to de-stash. And this is not the best place for this, for these key rings, but I'm going to put them back in there because they're kind of just filling up space there. And there we go. What else? Okay, here's another bag of like random jewelry look there's some eye pins here um hey river how are you it's um thank you so much happy new year yeah there's a lot of random thingies here maybe let me see if this will also fit i might be filling up that door at the top but you know i want to have things in the right place so this is kind of like the embellishment type door up here so I'm going to put these up here, even though they're kind of random. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, so I have the large inks, buttons, some glue there. I think I wanted some more glue in there. Okay, then I have this cute little box. I got this box, of the Tale of Squirrel Nutkin, just the tin for like 50 cents probably. In I don't know if it was in Tennessee, but it was when my husband and I went on our... Um, anniversary uh, we went to tennessee and we drove through some states to get there um oh emma old varnish is still functional as varnish you can always test it out and loads of things to use up the varnish yay <laughs> oh oh you're in tennessee Deborah. oh I, we went to pigeon pigeon I, I was mixing up the words we stayed in pigeon forge we actually didn't even go to Dollywood or anything, but, um, you know, we just kind of really just hung out and excuse my foot over there. Let me move it. <laughs> um, but but yeah, we went to thrift stores actually on our vacation. It was awesome. <laughs> Are you in Tennessee too, Mary? I'll definitely we, we loved it. So we will definitely be going back sometime. I just don't know when. <laughs> so. Anyway, ooh, who's gifting something? Uh, you can get it as a gift. What are you looking for, Malia? Malia, Malia. Uh, to make 100 things, I'm doing 100. Oh, 100 things challenge. I missed that. Awesome. I haven't seen that one. I'm going to have to look for it. 
someone to buy things again. When are you going to be allowed to buy things again, Malia? I, I missed that. I can't buy my kind of, uh, Oh, so you're looking for varnish. Okay. Da, 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 da. I feel like it's scanning that tin from front and making a journal cover. What a great idea, Emma. I need to think of scanning things more often. <laughs> but yeah, isn't that cute? It's a squirrel nutkin, so I think that's a Beatrix Potter, right? Beatrix Potter. The limited, this limit, yeah, that's Peter Rabbit right there. Beatrix Potter. So this is from 1997. I'm sorry, from 1997, this tin. And it originally contained assorted gumdrops. But I just bought the tin because there's actually a story about squirrels. And me dances with pitbulls are 100. Oh, okay, okay, cool. I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, there's actually a, a story about me and the squirrel. It's like a personal thing um, that I might share sometime. I don't. I mean, it's not a big deal, but uh, yeah. So squirrels are kind of like special to me. <laughs> um, and so when I saw this, I had to get it. Ah, look at this. I didn't remember what was in here. See, that's the thing about having things in tins. So I have all this glitter, which should probably, if it fits, just go in here because this is where I have glitter, right? Let me see if it fits. Maybe I put it in there because it didn't fit standing up here. But now that I've removed some other things, and then I'm, there we go. If I put this in here like this, it'll fit here. So this is the, just the cheap glitter from the Dollar Tree, but hey, you know, glitter, glitter pen, whatever. And then look at these. These I cut out of a piece um like a big uh, like it was a tablecloth or something that i thrifted and i cut these out you can make a lot and then just one day get the varnish and have a week of varnishing your projects i usually like to have more than one yep yep that sounds good i like to do things in batches too when i can you know because it, it just seems more efficient ah check it out so i cut out some squares this was a really big um it was a really big tablecloth, and this wasn't even all of it, but I cut out some squares to have handy, and see? And it, th they have been hiding in this tin, so I need to make them better available. So these are no good in here because I'm not seeing them and not using them. So where can I put them? Okay, I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to set this aside, and there's, there's little pieces of cloth and stuff so I, I think I have a bag of like scrap fabrics and things there's some pretty little stars in there that I really don't want to throw away <laughs> it looks like glitter or um, like confetti you know what there's some empty spaces in here I'm gonna put them in this empty space I mean it's only a couple of them but you never know right I might might need stars sometime so there see these little tiny stars do you see them? <laughs> I just salvaged them from this tin. Okay. So, there's my stars. My stars. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I don't want to miss a child. Da -da 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 -da. Clear nail polish is good, too. Yep. You can see some cards from the doilies. Oh, what a great idea. What a great idea. All right. So, this tin, I need to put to better use. I don't know wh wh how yet, but let me put it. I'm just putting it on my table here next to me. Here's some, some glue. You know what? I have some other glue in here. I think I'm going to move some of my glue in here because that way it'll be handy. Usually, I have my glue like all over my table. Now, I have space in here. I think I'm just going to put it in here. And then I had this extra watercolor because it did. I got enough stamps in here that I didn't. This didn't fit anymore. But now that I've reorganized, maybe it will fit again. Let me see if I can get this to fit in here. So I'd rather it be with stuff that makes sense, you know. So I have watercolors here, watercolor pencils. What's this? Oh, that's reinker. This is funny. I, I must have thrift. Yeah, actually, I did thrift this because this is a reinker. It's not a reinker. It's actually oh, it's it's um this type of ink. I haven't been using it. I need to to use it more. I've been using my um vintage photo more often than not. It has become my favorite. 
probably influenced by Gail Agostinelli because <laughs> that's one of her favorites. So I don't know. I don't know if that. I think that's going to make it too full. I'm just going to keep it down here. See, these are my watercolors, which I also thrifted. I got this box of watercolors for $2 at a yard sale. Aren't they awesome? Definitely need to use them some more. Um, I think one of the, mo the most use I've gotten out of these is making some painty papers. Inspired by you, Emma. One time you were making painty papers, and I said, oh, I got to do that. And I made some with those watercolors. Okay. Let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Stars. <laughs> yes that's true I can use it as a reinker. okay so another thing I had in here was this box and I think I'm gonna put it back in here I just got to remember that I have it this is a box of like random or miscellaneous cards like playing cards so I got to remember I have this because sometimes I want to use playing cards I have some Christmas I have some oops, some old medical cards that some of these cards I'll use like you know for inking the, these uh, card uh, cards, but then I have some just plain uh, playing cards from my uh, stash. Like I think I grabbed one or two playing cards of each that I have, and I put in here. Oh, I love this one! Isn't he cute? Should have used that this Christmas, but oh well. Love that one. I think I only have that one, or maybe another one left of those. Oh, check this out. So I have these, these are little like ID badges, right? Uh, for some reason, I don't know if I have them here. I have, I may have gotten rid of them, but I had a stash of these things that you just um, uh, put it through a laminator, right? But Or whatever. And I just put some string in here and I just use my iron with some paper, you know, um, parchment paper in between. And I made this, <laughs> so I stuck it in here. <laughs> Hey, just make something. Good morning. <laughs> Dee Dee, is that you? Just make something. Is that you, Dee Dee? Good morning. Thank you for joining. Happy New Year. Is that, I think that's an alligator. It says, says anti-alligator. You call it a dragon, Emma? <laughs> yeah, these are like some vintage cards that I picked, thrifted. See, they're real vintage ones. And do I have the whole thing in here? I don't I don't know if I have them all in here. Oh, here it is. This, this is another one of those laminating sheets. You you just open this, right? And you put something in here. I think you take this out. Oh, you peel this, I think. And then, you, well, I will iron it. You actually used a laminate. It's supposed to use a laminator, but yeah. See, here's 1979 picnic basket. This is another one. These were just some random cards that I picked up. Probably at the resource depot, but aren't they cool? I need to. I had totally forgotten about these. Boo boo! <laughs> Remember Yogi Bear and Boo Boo? He is so cute! Okay. See, B2, because we got Boo Boo. <laughs> and Muscle Mike. Oh my goodness, that's Edu cards. Oh, let me see. I only have a couple of these. Uh, see if there's a. No. To make flip move, put cards in numerical order. Okay. So it's some sort of, oh, see, there's a 33 down there. Some sort of game, but I only have a couple of cards. There's Edu Mike, uh, Muscle Mike, Donald Drummer. <laughs> Oops, I dropped it. Jerry Giraffe. Look at all these necks. Vernon Vender. Oh, my goodness, these are adorable. Enormous Norma. Oh, my goodness, that is, like, totally not PC. <laughs> And a pretty cow. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I've been thinking of getting a laminator, too, because they sell like a just like a one page one, like an eight and a half by 11 laminator page for like 20 bucks. It's not that bad, but um, crazy car. <laughs> oh, look, look, look. What's his name? Snagglepuss. It says it right there. Hold on. Let me just pick up this card that I dropped. Yeah, so see, I don't have the whole deck of these. It's just a couple of random ones. And then these, I don't know what they are. Okay, these are pretty ones. I love the ducks. No, it's Nagglepuss. This is from Hanna-Barbera. Like these old cartoons. You're probably too young there. <laughs> Dee Dee, I don't know. I don't know how old you are. But yeah, they're from Hanna-Barbera cartoons. They, this is, I mean, when, I think it's like even before I was a kid. No, when I was a kid. Um... 
they had the Hanna Barbera cartoons on Saturday morning. Was it the Yogi Bear show, Karen? Okay, I didn't remember the exact show, but yeah. See that that's Snaggle Puss and we had Boo Boo here a little while ago. Where's the Boo Boo? There's a picnic baskets. See, I showed that a, a minute ago. Picnic baskets, because Boo Boo used to, you know, Yogi used to steal picnic baskets. And there's Yaki Doodle, the little duck. Where's Boo Boo? I know I saw him. I think he was one of the first cards I had. Well, anyway, you, you get the idea. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness. I don't even remember all of them. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, these are just some other random cards, but they're so pretty. Some of them are vintage. These are just for my collection. I have a bunch. I actually have, like, a set of, um, these are cool, like the see-through ones. Set of cards in my Etsy shop, which I don't have a lot in my Etsy shop, but I do have, like, a set of cards. You get, like, 100 cards for $10, including shipping. So, if you're interested in that, check out my Etsy shop. I always, uh, you know, <laughs> put a link in there. But, anyway, I think you got some of these, um, Karen, didn't you? I don't know if you got all of these because I have ha had, I have gotten more, you know, new ones since then. But I think Karen bought a set of my uh, playing cards from my Etsy shop. So, that was really cool. All right. Oh, and there's more back here. Did I show all these? Okay. Th these are cool, too. These I, I thrifted. Okay, cool. Yeah, they're really nice variety, right? So these are made for florists, I think. But I got a package um, thrifting. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but they're cool. And I have used them in a couple of places. But I, ha I probably have more than I'll ever use, so I should probably share those. I might include those with my playing cards. Anyway. Yeah, see, this was 50 cards. That's what came with these. Um, yeah, so there's, yeah, the, these are all the kind of playing cards that you get in that little set. That Oh, here's, oh, these are awesome. Now, these you don't get in the set of playing cards. This was a thrifted rummy, rummy set that I got, and it's got all these, these little um, adorable characters. Oh, it's so much fun to go through this, even though I'm supposed to be organizing, guys. <laughs> uh, oh, Lisa, that, that's okay. You can always um, come back. I think I will keep the replay. Originally, when I got on, I said, I don't even know if I'll keep the replay on for this one because it's just, I don't know. I thought it might be boring, but I, I was in a chatty mood. Look at Hoppy Hippo. Oh, Frisky Frogs. These are so adorable. So um, what I was saying is I wasn't sure that, you know, if, if it was going to be very exciting to watch me kind of clean my drawer thing. So I have some little post-its in here, too. Look, this is Peter Rabbit and just a little random one. And these were, like, from, like, companies, you know. Not this one. This one, I, I don't know where I got it, but that's from, like, a company. I like this one. This one I got at Target a while back. It's just got a blank month that you could fill in. That's from the Dollar Tree. I think I thrifted this one. Yep. So there's that. I'm going to keep that in here because I really need to use playing cards more often. I, I haven't been recently. So I'll keep that in here. I just got to remember that I have it here. I think I'll put it to the front because if I, I know my glues are in here, I know I can reach back for my glues and I know I'll reach for my inks, but I need to see these in order to use them. So I'm going to put those up here and then these, I just, these are from the Dollar Tree and I, I remember it. Oh, you know what it was? My son um, had a toga party. <laughs> A couple of years ago, and he bought these large pins, uh, you know, to put the sheets on, <laughs> and then just kind of left the package. And I thought I would use them, so I just put them in this bag. And here they are. So maybe I'll put these in this because that, it's not something I'll necessarily need a lot, but I think I'm gonna do that for now. I'm gonna put these pins, and this little tin has also these little pins, so maybe that'll be my little box of like pins yeah these are like garment pins and say yeah safety pins so i think hopefully i will remember maybe i'll do what emma said and put a little a little strip of um 
tape on here that says pins and I'll put this back in here I'm not on top of the cards because then I won't see them put put it back here somewhere maybe it'll stand up this way back there yep all right hopefully it won't get lost in here and then my gesso just goes like this and then check these out these are really cool I need to use these up um, I just didn't find a better place for them but these are like wooden tags and I forgot where I got these they may have been thrifted but um, yeah they're really cool you know really think they're wood and they're all different sizes and shapes well some of these are tag shapes some of them are just squares or rectangles and look at these aren't they cute I need to use these so I think I'll just put them I don't know where to put them where else to put them right now I'll just leave them here where they were and what else do I have oh look at this, this is oh, I've been looking for this set of stamps I was gonna use this for during Christmas and I didn't go on to it let me put it up with my stamps where they belong with my little set of stamps here okay and I still need to find a place for this I'll leave that aside this really should probably go with my cutting stuff for some reason it seems like that makes more sense maybe that's where it was and I forgot to put it back so okay there we go yay only two drawers to go ladies thank you so much for joining me this is so much more fun with you guys here ah <laughs> oh, let me see if I missed on something <laughs> what's your idea shopping your own stash yep 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 so yeah this is a good thing that I have to do this I have to anyway so okay let me get this out these drawers okay and again, I got to clean it. So sorry, this part's going to be a little boring because um, it's just actually cleaning actual dirt. Uh, but um, talk amongst each other while I, I'm not going to be peeking at the chat for a minute. But um, I'll probably be yabbering about something or other. So yeah, has anybody made New Year's resolutions? I, I'm not really big on making New Year's resolutions because I usually break them, you know, like if I had made them yesterday, I probably would have broken them today. <laughs> so, uh, but I do take some time in the beginning of the year to kind of think things through and uh, evaluate and, you know, see if, if I want to do anything different. You know that type of thing but you know you can do that at any time you don't have to wait necessarily for the beginning of the year or even as we have it now the beginning of a new decade <laughs> but um yeah i know it's not a bad thing to do i mean it's a good thing to you know have goals and stuff but i just don't tend to do the new year's resolution thing so but if anybody wants to share theirs, I'd be glad to hear it. <laughs> All right. So again, I'm going to just remove everything out of this drawer. Let me bring you up here to my table. Okay. And we'll just take everything out of here while I clean it. What all is in here? Look, there's more stamps. That should go in the stamp drawer. See, this is what I needed to do for a while. Okay. All right, I'm just grabbing stuff and throwing it out. See, it is somewhat organized. It actually has stayed somewhat organized. But I want to keep these drawers for things that I'm actually going to readily use. And I'm thinking some of this stuff needs to go in the garage. Where, see the glitter? There, this is my glitter glue refill. I need to put it with the glue. So it's going to go back here with the glue. Can it stand up? Yes, that one stands up fine. Okay, yay. And I have this little glue gun that Harmony gifted me. That might have to go in the garage because I that's where I have my glue guns. And look, a random piece of washi. <laughs> I have to put that away with the washi. And a bracelet. This is a bracelet I made actually. Wonder if I was gonna take it apart maybe that's why it's there maybe it just fell in there yeah cause it's kind of loose because the beads are really heavy and it, this is that memory wire and it's a little loose but i'll just throw it on my arm there for a minute 
and a little piece of napkin. <coughs> Excuse me. See, it's dust is getting to me. Okay, so again, you can look at this random stuff that I had in that drawer while I wash the actual drawer. And we'll see what I do with this. Oh, my, my. I think I already have an idea of what I want to do with this drawer because some of this stuff is going to be put elsewhere. Some of the stuff you're looking at. And I'm not looking at the chat right this second because I'm wiping the drawer and um, I have the phone up where I can't see it. Just so you know, I don't have the computer on or anything. I just got on willy-nilly like this. So... Oh man, you know, it feels really good to be doing this though, to get, to be getting this not just organized, but clean, because like I said, I haven't really cleaned, cleaned these drawers probably a year, give or take. <laughs> so with that being said, it's actually not as filthy as like it could be, I suppose. I really want to get to those corners. And I like Emma's idea of just, you know, taking them out and pressure washing them with water, but I don't want to do that right now. We actually have a chilly morning this morning in Florida. Um, and it's probably not anymore. It's probably hot right now, but this morning it was 63 degrees. <laughs> so that is uh, sweater weather for us. <laughs> Mind you, a lot of people still go without because, you know, it's not that bad. It's actually kind of nice. But, yeah, most most people wear sweaters and even jackets at 63 degrees around here. This is the way it is. <laughs> We're so spoiled. Okay. So, um, it probably is warmer because I just, I feel like my air conditioner kicked in, so... That means it must have gotten warmer outside already. I haven't checked my phone to see what it, it is now. I'm just telling you that this morning it was 63 degrees <laughs> when my husband left for work. So, all right. Can't quite get to the little bit of dust in that corner, but it's going to have to do. That's what's taking me so long. Sorry. I'm, this has these little corners right here, you know, right here, and it's hard to get in this little bottom edge, but that's good enough good enough you can leave it like that it's good enough. all right so what did i have in this drawer first of all let me go back at the chat to see if you were talking to me uh, da, 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 da. okay good i didn't miss much hell i just want to find something my stash and thing where the heck did that come <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh that's true okay so here i had so this is cool this, you know these um jumbo size um Ziploc bags, I love those. You get them at the Dollar Tree. You get five, sometimes six, you know, you get an extra one um, of these jumbo size bags. And that's what I'm using, like, to organize my projects in. But, oh, look at this. I have these random used um, Ziploc bags. Because, you know, I don't throw them out. I reuse them as long as the little zippy part is still working. So, but this is where I keep, keep my strips of... Um, I guess you can call it uh, scrap, scrap strips. Hi, Cynthia. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. And I actually went in here and I threw a bunch out. I just recycled it because I was just so, uh, it was just overwhelming. And it was mostly maybe plain ones like this. This one's I kept because it's coffee that I don't know if you can tell it's got this little circles there. But there are a lot of just kind of like plain strips and I just got overwhelmed and I de-stashed a whole bunch of strips. These are the ones I kept. And but I think this is a great idea for keeping like your scrap strips. Why did I keep this? Oh, because it's attached. Okay, it's attached to this. Because this was like the spine of a um gift wrap book let me throw this out Do I have a trash bag around here oh just toss it before <laughs> i'm gonna sweep okay so so this i do want to keep handy here's another stamp that i need to put away with my stamp so let me put it back here with the stamp i'm gonna put away 
And oh boy, so here is a whole bunch of random. Oh, these are my charms. Okay, so I want to keep these here. So this is a bag. It's got charms. It's got some more key rings. You know what? Maybe I should just put my key rings that I had down there in here. Um, as a matter of fact, yes, I'm going to do that right now because this is what I'm doing now. It's organizing. You know, these key rings right here, they don't need to be in this little box. I'm going to keep this little box where I had it just because it's holding up my other glitter pens. And I do keep, you know, this is from the milk or whatever. <laughs> I have a project coming up with those. Okay. But, yeah, I'm going to put these key rings in here because if you notice, I have a little baggie of these key rings in here. And I think these go here. Oh, I have book rings in here, too. Cool, because I'm going to be needing those. So these are my rings in here, like, you know, big rings. Yay, they're all reunited now. They're all together. Look at that. They're having a little reunion party. They're saying, yay, where were you? Where have you been? What have you been up to? Okay, now I'm getting silly. Put my kidding. I am silly. Okay. <laughs> all right, so there's that. Welcome back. <laughs> yes, I'm still on because it's probably going to take forever to get this cleaned, but, you know. And, and like I said, I'm feeling chatty today. So, okay, so I have a jar. This is just like a, this was a, you know, those, um, oh, they're Starbucks things. Does it say it here? What do you call them? Those Starbucks cold drinks? They sell them at, you know, the grocery store. Anyway, um, they're coffee. Yeah, they're like iced coffee, I guess. The mochas, right? So I had bought one, and I just loved the jar. It was just like such a perfect size, and it has a wide mouth up here. So I use it for, like, random beads in here. And there's actually a little bit of room in here, so let me see if I have any beads in here that need to go in there. No, these are all kinds of charms. I need to go through this, but I'm not going to do that right now since it's contained nicely in here. Here's some uh, jewelry and charms. Okay, that's good. And then here are my... Here are my um, my sequins, because I was gifted a whole bunch of sequins when I started doing shakers. You guys, my subbies are so awesome. <laughs> so I have these. You know what I might do is there's no room for these sequins with the other sequins, is there? Hmm. Let's see. Would it make sense? I might have to, like, rearrange some stuff here. Would it make sense to put these back here with these sequins? See, I have glue and stuff there. Or maybe bring this stuff down here. What else did I want to put there? No, this is glue. This is... It. All right, I'm thinking this too. You know what? This little squirrel fits on top of here. I'm going to see if I can put these sequins back here for now. Or maybe I need to put those sequins down. What else do I want to keep in this drawer? Okay, so I do want to put my... Sorry, let me bring you down here. I do want to put my scraps back here. Because it fits nicely there. But it could be on top of something else, too. So I might actually get a couple of these boxes. And put one on top of the other. Okay, there. And so this could be like my... You know, big stuff drawer. Maria, I want to go to the second place you have there where you get the goodies. Oh, yes. We're going to have to talk. You have my email, Rosita, or text me or whatever. Um, we'll have to get together sometime um, to do that. Definitely would love to do that. <laughs> well, come on down. Hey, I don't have an extra room. I have a small house with not a lot of uh, room. But my kids have bunk beds. So, hey, if you don't mind sleeping in a bunk, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right so you know what i'm gonna go ahead and put the sequence here put this back where it was I'll leave it alone for now i might switch things around okay look here's i have my this tin isn't this cute tin i got this at goodwill yeah goodwill that's a goodwill label i got this for a dollar but again i just love 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 it i love little cute little things like this for storage and this is where i keep my my 
my tapes, my, um, you know, double-sided tapes. Is this just a strip? Yeah, that's like, and this is actually, you know what this is? This is, um, paper tape from the Dollar Tree that's like medical tape. And I use this to make DIY washi. It's not the best quality, but it works pretty well. Um, so there's a little tip. I don't know if you, I think I've done a video. If not, I'll do another one doing that. But yeah, so that's my double-sided tape. And you know some of this tape. So this should go up here with my glues, I think. Okay, while it fits, I'm going to go ahead and put it up here. Yep. So far, I think it'll be okay. I don't, I, I don't want to cover the cards, but you're going to get a little covered. Okay. So then there's this, there's that. The beads, okay, beads. Um, this brand new glue gun, I'm going to put aside because I already have a glue gun. This was gifted to me, I hope. I think Carmony sent this to me. I hope she doesn't mind. I might just um, pay it forward since I already have a um, glue gun. Because it's so pretty. So I'm going to put that aside. Okay, and see these I put here because I love these things. You pick these up at the thrift store sometimes. And what I want to do with these, these are like ready-made journals right now. See, they have just the two rings. And then you can put all kinds of papers in here. And it's a journal. And, of course, you can cover the inside because it's got the price in here and stuff. So that's why I had it here because I wanted to use them. But as you can see, I have not yet. Oh, wow. Look, somebody left their pictures in there. They were practicing with chopsticks. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and leave them in here because I have that one and I have this one. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> Thank you. Look, these are my... I'm in pajamas, ladies, okay? <laughs> Sorry, but that's the truth. Yep, thank you. My Star Wars pants. These are my jammies. <laughs> oh, okay. So let's see what it says. Lake Tahoe. 1997 so this is a little vintage book here but it was obviously somebody's pictures from lake tahoe check it out i might even use that or part of it but anyway yeah this these are awesome because they're ready-made journals and then of course you can embellish them or you can leave them however you want a dry erase book <laughs> Uh, well, you know, that makes sense. You could use a dry erase marker and just because I know what you're talking about like the uh, old albums, right? Where the things are like cl clinging, clinging to the page. So, yeah, these are actually like the pocket ones, which you could use, you know, but you could use just all kinds of papers and put them in here. And it's a junk journal, you know. <laughs> hey, there's an idea for a page, a dry erase page in a junk journal. Has anybody done that? Hmm, idea. <laughs> okay, here I also have my Tim Holtz people. This is the one and only Tim Holtz pack of uh, paper dolls that I've ever purchased. So I have this in here. So this is kind of like my bags of random bits. I kept this. This was from a drapery sample book that I had. And um, I thought it would make a great journal cover, right? Because he has these holes already here that, it, you know, the little handle was. And I could just keep, yeah, I cannot throw this out. I had it in here, but again, because I wanted it readily available for me to make a little junk journal out of. Just needs to be covered. So, yeah, got to do it. So, I'm going to keep it here. So this is the stuff I want to do. I got it. Okay. I've only purchased one package of paper dolls too. Hey, and chalkboard page. Ha ha. I got a dry erase pad from Tuesday morning and use it sparingly. Okay. Neat. Yeah, why not? You know, that's the kind of thing. Hey, that's uh, ideas, you know. Isn't this beautiful? This I got in Happy Mail. There's these little stained glass coloring book. And so it's like basically vellum pages that have been printed on and you can color and then it's like a little stained glass right so these are so gorgeous and I've, I just haven't done anything with them because I just love them I just like to look at them <laughs> so I need to put this with my butterfly stuff that's what I need to do where did somebody gave this to me 
but they bought it in probably like one of those museum stores or maybe in Butterfly World. We have a Butterfly World here in Florida and down in Broward. I live in Palm Beach County, but a little south of me, about an hour south of me or less, is a place called Butterfly World, and that is an amazing place. I haven't been there in years, but I mean like years, like what, 15 years, maybe 20? Oh my goodness. Yeah, because I, I remember going with my oldest son. And he's 28, and he was not yet 10 when he went there. So, yeah, it's been a long time. But it is really cool. So, anyway, I'm going to keep these. I'm going to keep these here. But I'm going to put them facing out so that I can see them through the door. Because I want to add them to my butterfly stash. For right now, it's going to go there. And then this, what is this? Oh, these are just... Oh, this came in Happy Mail, too. It's, a, it's really nice. Who sent this to me? Was this Harmony? I don't remember who sent this to me, but it's kind of already a little made. I don't know what you call the, these folios or just a fold out. So it just needs to be decorated, but I really love it. And it's also good inspiration. So I'll just leave it here. I mean, this kind of drawer, I'm going to have to revisit. But for now, look, this is another Happy Meal thing. I love it. Yeah, I, you know, I'm just keeping it here. These are kind of things that I just wanted to have here. Okay, um, maybe these are like kind of like projects too. Hi, Beck. How are you? Happy New Year. Thanks for joining. I'm just, like I said, I'm just a little chatty and I had to clean, organize my craft space back. I put away my Christmas village, which is where my craft table was, and I am getting back to crafting, but I had to organize my place. I love these. I'm going to keep these here, too, because I want to finish making these. These are from um, those cookbook, uh, those uh, Better, is it Betty Homes and Gardens or Betty Crocker? I forget which it is, those cookbooks. Maybe it says it here. And I made some little journals out of them, and I love them, and they're fast and easy to make. So I just folded some already, and I just need to add pages to them, and they will be ready to go. So I'm going to keep them here because these are kind of like maybe projects that I want to do in here as well as some, you know, random bags of stuff. Okay, so far that's good. Okay, this was just a random printable. It was a freebie from Pink Paper Peppermints and I printed it out um, like twice in one sheet. And I didn't want to throw it out, so I just put it in here. But I, that probably needs to go somewhere else. So I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to leave out my llama. <laughs> it's just one little piece. I <laughs> uh, have to put that somewhere else. Okay, so this drawer is pretty clean. And it's got room for some more stuff. We'll see what is in the next drawer. Last drawer, ladies. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Maria Fancy Pants is... <laughs> no, please don't give me a nickname, Cynthia. <laughs> Uh, take the staples out of the book and use the butterflies in the journal. I thought that. I did. I did think that. <laughs> no! Who called me fancy pants? Cynthia, did you start that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, well. I, I guess it could be a lot worse. <laughs> you can call me whatever you want. Just don't call me late for dinner. Yeah, have you heard that one before? Uh, yeah, I'm not very original sometimes. Okay, last drawer. Oh, yeah last drawer and these two are the ones that i have the most kind of things to um think through see my floor's gotten dirty because i've been throwing stuff okay so once again i am gonna put this stuff up here you can look at it while i'm gonna clean down there see how filthy it is this is what i'm doing i don't know if you can tell that's a filthy dirty i'm gonna clean that with a wet wipe so let me see i'm gonna read what you're saying and then i won't be able to read for a minute are the kids still out of school there? Yes. My son has been out of school since the 20th. It goes back on the 7th. That's the same here. Yep. <laughs> yes, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I was a teacher, so... Um, oh, something spilled here. What spilled? Is this from here? Oh, so this spilled. So I had this... This is just water, though. This might have been vinegar. No, this was just water. And I had it laying down, and it spilled. But that's okay, so I'm glad I'm cleaning this. And everything was in plastic bins, so, or bins. So nothing got messed up. 
and this was sideways it's vellum so it's okay all right so i'm gonna pull you up here to the table you can look at this stuff and if you want to ask me about it in a minute you can but for right now i am going to clean up this icky drawer and actually this one i'm gonna take to the sink since it already got wet so oh you can hear me because i actually have my earbuds on and I think I'm bringing it with me just fine. But I just want to I just won't be able to see what you're chatting about. Alright, so I'm just rinsing off the drawer. And then whoop, and I got myself wet. <laughs> and I'm gonna wipe it down. This earbud keeps wanting to come out of my ear. I'm not ready to stop yet, earbud. <laughs> chatty <laughs> okay so so um, yeah like I said I'm not looking at the chat right now so just talk to each other for a minute so I wipe this thing down oh, I feel so good to get this stuff cleaned up it really does and something gets down in the corner it's so annoying okay, let me just dig in there in there okay so my drawer is pretty quite clean so i have to get the bottom of the actual drawer unit so let me get to that where's my vinegar okay and i should gotta get that because my floor got wet over here Back. He'll probably just roll his eyes. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, I took today and tomorrow off. Technically, my job is back open again um, today. You know, I work at a university. But um, yeah, I knew I was going to need the extra days. And I'm so glad I took them because it's been so crazy. I have actually not had much of a break at all this uh christmas new year's has been really busy i cooked uh you know for days well not, not days but you know we cooked we had people over which was awesome we don't really do that very often um I, we visited family in orlando visited family down in miami and uh you know which are not terribly long rides but still takes your day pretty much and um so yeah i'm glad i took today off because i'm still busy <laughs> still busy uh, trying to get my craft space back okay so i'm just wiping down the actual unit in here where the drawer is gonna go and i think i'm about ready Ugh. Yay. Okay. Make sure the drawer is dry. All right. So have you ladies been talking amongst yourselves? Have you looked at the stuff that was in this drawer and wondering what the heck is that? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Ah, let me put the drawer back in. Nice clean drawer. Beautiful. All right. Let's see what you got. My fancy pants over here. <laughs> No, let me get them out of the way. Okay, let's see. Oh, you are a teacher too, Dee Dee. Uh, my craft room looks like your garage. <laughs> I haven't shown you my garage recently. It's gotten worse <laughs> because of all the Christmas stuff and everything, you know? Oh, I can't get anything worse. I know. He's all, Mom, let's go walk, let's go play basketball, etc. He's slowly with me. <laughs> Yep, that's the blessing of being a mommy, Rosita. When he goes back and finally, that's, yeah, that's awesome. My son's a teenager now, and if he's home, he's just up in his room. So, yeah, you will cherish these times. Welcome to come, Daddy. Yeah, get in line, Cynthia. 
You know, I wouldn't mind. I would love it. It's just there isn't enough time in the day, is there, ladies? So, all right. So, what did I have in this drawer? And I probably will be bringing some stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. I had a plan. I had a plan. I had a plan, kind of. All right. So, what I had in this drawer was these nice little boxes, which I love because they have these clear. These, I believe, were Prima boxes that I thrifted. Let's see. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yep, Crown Jewels Collection Prima Marketing. And I I got these with some stuff in here already. But let me, I think I'm going to need to move these. Some of this stuff. Ooh, it's kind of wet from, from when the water spilled here. So some of this stuff is going to get moved. And I'm probably going to end up, these are such nice boxes. I don't want, don't quite want to give them up. I might change the stuff out of the bags and put them in these boxes what do you think if they fit i might just do that yes it is fun isn't it malia it like to sort your stuff because it's almost like you're shopping right because you forgot what you had and and then you can look at stuff and get ideas again and and it's like oh that's right i remember getting that and yeah it's fun look at this isn't that pretty so these appliques could so go up here in my embellishment drawer, which are already I'm getting kind of full, but let's see. So, and then I have these. These are all ribbons and embellishments. These should go up in here in this drawer. See, this is my second drawer. And I have, do I have room? I don't have much room. It's a problem. So maybe these, like this is kind of like a, um, what do you call it? scraps right little scraps and these are kind of little scraps so these might go down i think i'm gonna put these down with that other bag that i had right with embellishments scraps and then the ones that are more organized like these these are buttons i'm gonna keep here and i'm gonna put these embellishments here and i had these little dividers but I think for right now I'm just even going to throw them in here and I know it's getting messy again right but these are in baggies see they fit up here these see these are mainly, mainly um, lace lace and eyelash strings but there's some ribbons here maybe I can put some ribbons up here too so maybe I'll put these ribbons these are ribbons, and I have some baggies too here. So see, that's why I keep these random bags around. And I'll put these ribbons in here. Some of these are smaller, like really small. I don't even want this pin here. Okay, that's like really small. I might just put that in a um, in the like scrappy bag. I'm gonna put that in the scrappy bag because this is a tiny bit of trim. Okay, and then these that are rolled up, I'm going to keep in this bag. And like I said, I like to use these, um, if you weren't here earlier, I like to use these. These are like for like little tiny braids. And I use these little rubber bands that, that are for little tiny braids to organize these like this. See? I like them better than pins because pins I'm always pricking myself <laughs> but some of them that already have pins in them I'm gonna leave alone look there's a random pin where's my pin cushion I need my pin cushion <laughs> it's in the garage somewhere I can't find it I'm just gonna have to pin it to the tablecloth here okay so yeah I feel a pin sticking out somewhere okay so that's what I'm gonna do these are all little ribbons they don't need to be taking up all this box space so I'm just going to put them in here. That's a little while. That's okay. I'm not going to take time to go through all of them right now. But aren't they cute? <laughs> okay, this one is in a card. So I'll put it here. All right. So all these ribbons. And that is more of an embellishment. I'll put that one in the second drawer. But lace and eyelash trim and maybe ribbons will go up here. In this top drawer. Okay. And that's a little scrap. 
Okay, so yay, I emptied one box. Okay, get all the. That's one box. Whew. And now this box. Oh, these are the flowers. I love this. Oh, let me see what you're saying. Okay, let's see. Oh, Rosita left. Bye, Rosita. I'm sorry I didn't say bye. She's probably gone already. Okay. Oh my God, it looks like, uh, yeah, I know, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite. The two top drawers here are my favorite. If you came in late, I'll go ahead and show you real quick. Top drawer, yes, yumminess. Laces, now ribbons also, and eyelash trim. And they're all on little cards like this. And then the second drawer is other types of trim, like, um, you know, these are like seam bindings and maybe other little laces and trims that, you know, are just didn't fit up there for whatever reason so these two drawers are kind of both trims and stuff but this one also has the like the little little embellishment things so that's up here so yeah i love these these yeah that's oh that's glue that goes at the, at the bottom those are my favorite drawers definitely glue in here put it in here okay all right prima flowers these are so awesome i think I, i'll keep these in here because um they do take up most of it and uh, there's some big ones here i don't know that i'll ever use it's so pretty though i have to find a use for these big 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 ones um i guess it could be like the front like the cover right they could want to cover these big ones the cool thing is that you can layer them and all that so yeah i think i have to leave the prima flowers right here where they are maybe I can add other flowers and things in this. So this will be my flower box. I'm going to leave it here. Look at this. So cute. <laughs> okay. Bye. Just make something. Have a great day. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate you. That, that way this organizing doesn't seem like just, uh, you know, so lonely. <laughs> yeah. So flowers here are great. I might add something else to these since there's a little bit of room, but leave the flowers here. This cover is a little sticky. Let me see if I can, this is vinegar and water. So let me see if that'll take care of it here. Cause it's the stickiness is a little bit annoying. If it doesn't, I'll have to come back and uh, clean it with something. It looks like it's tape. I have goo gone. I'll come back with goo gone and clean it better. But for now, that's good. All right. So one of these I'm keeping. <coughs> excuse me. As is. Okay. And I actually want to see if it'll fit in this other drawer right here. Yes, it does. Well, we'll see. Yes. Okay. It might. It might. It might. We'll see. Okay, and then I'm thinking this other drawer, this other drawer, maybe this is where I can put these, not the sequins, the sequins are good in a baggie, but these, because there's so many little things, so I can spread it out a little bit, these are like, um, well, let's see what's in here, hi Julie, <laughs> how are you, thanks for joining me, huh, um, yeah, so I had, um, my craft space is actually a card table that's in our dining room and it was holding our Christmas village during Christmas and I just put it away so I'm getting my craft space back but this lovely um, tower of plastic drawers was next to it and I just cleaned it and I'm organizing a little bit so I can get back to crafting again so yay how fun I'm honored that you would join me <laughs> um, for a little bit here Okay, so these are more like uh, little pieces of, um, this is uh, something somebody sent me. Isn't that beautiful? That little kind of like snippet, snippet, or maybe it was a swap. I don't remember. I think it was a Happy Meal. So I'm going to put these for now. They don't really, I'm going to just put them aside <laughs> for now. But I want to keep in this little Prima box, I think I'm going to keep these other things. They're kind of like random embellishments, but I also have like um, my um, charms and stuff here. Here in New Jersey, we love doing that. <laughs> yep, isn't that beautiful? I wish I could remember who sent it to me. I'm gonna have to like go back through my videos to to remember. So I think I wanna 
loosen these charm baggies. See, I had all these little baggies inside another baggie. I think I'd rather have them loose in this box so that I can rummage through them better. Oh, these are some earrings that I thrifted. I actually got, yeah, that's right. I got this baggie of jewelry for a dollar and I already took some stuff out of it. But, and then this I got from Happy Mail. So it's kind of all kind of mixed in here, but this I'm going to leave. So this is jewelry. And actually, I mentioned you a little while ago, Julie, because uh, I found, I have it up here in my embellishment drawer. I found these earrings that my sister-in-law gave me, and I was thinking, oh, they could be my discarded jewelry for the Just Junk Journal Challenge, right? Like the pair would count as one piece of jewelry. See, it's missing. One of the, one of the earrings is missing its hook, so... She was getting rid of it, and she gave it to me because, you know, like you, Julie, people give me stuff. <laughs> so that's probably going to be my discarded piece of jewelry for my junk journal, but I'm probably going to work on that later later in the month because I've got some other commitments at the beginning of the month. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, I like this much better, being able to rummage through this here instead of having it in one Ziploc baggie, having it a little bit stretched out here and then I can have a little baggies in here too so um I think I'm going to include I had this these little ornaments these were made and gifted to me and I kind of had them hanging you know what I'm gonna put it hanging again I had them hanging on my little um I'm putting them back <laughs> on my arm that I used to hold my camera so they're going to be there again I know they're Christmas and Easter but I don't care they remind me of my happiness okay and then these are some random paper clips that i made out of that this is that wire from the dollar tree <laughs> that that comes in the floral department and i made these um on a wild hair day i made these uh paper clips i'm trying to find a piece of card here we go so you can see these crazy paper clips check it out check it out see I thought that this was supposed to, I forgot what this was supposed to be, but it kind of looks like a peacock to me now. <laughs> See? <laughs> yes, a little demented peacock. <laughs> and then this, I was trying to do like those that they have, you know, that are just swirls. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep this in here too because, you know what, that's fine. Um, so that is that box. So these, and you know what, hold on. There's some of these little things um, in here. So I'm going to take the little fiber stuff out and I'm going to keep these in and these also random things I think they'll all fit in this box so yay <laughs> yeah I know I love it when you say that Julie is that people give me stuff because like hey I know the feeling <laughs> oh, so that's cool all right, so there we go. And I love this because you can, you know, kind of lock it in here like this so it's nice and closed. So that's going to go. Let's see if I can also keep it in this, in this drawer. I think I can. Okay, this might have to move over a little bit. Okay, I think I'm going to keep them on this side like this. There we go. And then this stuff can be, oh, sorry, got my head. Uh, okay there we go that is cool that is fitting there okay so the other stuff I had down in this drawer was this and these are my die cuts and like punched stuff most of these no before I say that let me look oh yeah I'd forgotten I had punched these I was looking for these <laughs> wow they were actually where they were supposed to be so I wanted to use, I had. I knew I had uh, die cut some of these deer heads, and I wanted to use them uh, for Christmas, and I never got around to it, but look how cool. I just die cut them out of um, random papers. Um, these were the, the pages from the uh, wallpaper book that, you know, show you how to use the wallpaper. Some book, oh well, next Christmas. <laughs> all right, so these are all die cuts. Yep, die cuts, and then I did a die cut swap. And got all these lovely die cuts because I only have a small Sizzix sidekick, so I can't do these big die cuts. So all these I got from a swap. 
So yeah, I need to I need to use these up. And these were bought. And then some punched out shapes. No, see, it's not all die cuts. I need to organize this better, but it's mostly kind of die cuts. Oh, that came in a Tim Holtz kit, journal kit. Okay, and there's some cut aparts. Okay, well, this is still kind of the same. There are die cuts. Okay, they're just different types and styles of die cuts. And as you can see, I have them in these in this salad box. I love these salad boxes because they're a little flimsy. See, but it but they're uh, a good size, and you can stack them and stuff. So yeah. Oh, let's see what I missed. Thank you, Brian. Thanks for putting more stuff in there. He. Pretty dangles better than the ones you made in the video. Paper clips, I mean. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, so, yeah. So, die cuts are good, and this is a good place for them, I think. And look, I have more room, because I know I have some more die cuts that I just did somewhere else. I just got to remember where. <laughs> and I can put them in here. So that is good. I'm going to keep that down here. And that picks up most of the drawer, though. That's the only thing. But I think that's probably important to have in there. And then I had this other one. This was a cheese danish. <laughs> this is a cheese danish container. And again, these, uh, um, you would say, flimsy containers are actually pretty good for, like, um, to me, they're like a step up from Ziploc bags, you know, but not quite like a huge bin. So, oh, you know what? These are my clusters. So I had made a whole bunch of little clusters. And so, yeah, I'm glad I found these. These are my clusters. What else do I have in here? Some guest checks. So it looks like this is like some more kind of scraps. And I have a place for scraps. Some packaging. Ooh, playing card. Package. Ooh, that's a whole sticker set. That should go with my stickers. So I'm going to have to go through this and kind of organize a little bit. Ooh, Julie, if you're still there, do those look familiar? <laughs> I love those. Okay. And some index cards. Yeah, so this little junk um, box needs to be reorganized. But I like having my... Um, what do you call it? Clusters here. So, <laughs> what what to do? Okay, see, here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to have some napkins here because that's the one thing that I have tons of napkins, but I always have to go to the garage and grab my bag. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and keep this here, but I'm going to go through the stuff in here later. And I'm going to put some napkins and I have them in bags and stuff along the side here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. My vellum. These are like vellum stains. I got these in Happy Mail. I think these can go up here. Yep, I have room for them up here because I do want to keep them so that I can use them. They're awesome. They did get a little wet at the bottom. So these can go up here. Oh, good. So I can still have them handy. And this little baggie of scraps. Um, well, you know what? I'm going to put it in here because I'm going to reorganize this and it's kind of scrappy anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. That the, the few things that I have left to kind of organize, I'm going to put in this little box of, um, clusters and there's a snippet that probably might stay there because then I can use it. So this will be like a small, um, and even these that I cut apart from a tablecloth. Aren't these awesome? I, I love these. For those of you that weren't here when I pulled this out, this came out of like the third drawer or fourth drawer and um, came from a big uh, tablecloth. And uh, so all this, I am going to go ahead and come back to it and organize a little bit more because there's more stuff that, you know, I need to get okay awesome so i have i i have organized my craft space now all i have to do is clear out this mess from the table here <laughs> and some of the stuff i'm de-stashing and uh the rest is probably going to be trash and this is my card table i just got to put it next to this 
lovely thing. And I'm going to bring some napkins. And my napkins are going to live here. And then I think I have a good variety of things handy now. Just to recap. Um, some like charms and things. And my flowers. Like in process kind of little journals. This is my, my strip scraps. And then in this drawer was my like glues and some inks and some large jars of stuff. Oh, yeah. Julie, thank you. That's right. Okay, I had already cut it into pieces, but yes, it was a linen. It was like a tablecloth or something. Oh, I'm glad you said that because I hadn't thought about it. <laughs> so Julie just said that I can use the tablecloth and the Just Junk Journal Challenge as my linen, and I love that tablecloth. And the thing about it is it's it's cut into little squares, but, um, you know, it's got circles inside. Oh, Julie. Oh, Julie, this is just, <laughs> this is just this tower that I keep next to my craft desk in the dining room. It doesn't even touch the tip of my garage, which is really what my craft stuff is. Um, yeah, this is a very diminished <laughs> be, uh, you know, piece of my stuff, but, you know, since it, my craft space where I actually do my crafting is out here in the living area. I try to keep it down to just this. And if, um, I don't know if you've seen in my other videos, but I also have some other stuff on the desk that comes up here. It's like a crate that I put up here. But I was just working on this today because I had to get started with something. And um, yeah, I'm happy to get that done. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off camera with, you know, like the table and... Um, it looks like I'm, this is just a sheet that I put over it. I'm going to probably have to wash it because it got wet and dirty and stuff. But, um, yeah, there's <laughs> a craft room and the she shed and other, sh yeah, yeah. Well, I know you've been collecting stuff for years, Julie, so I have to, but not like junk journal stuff. I, I would do other things. So, you know, I would like bins of yarns and fabrics and you know, from, from other stuff, but I, I'm constantly decluttering, you know, I'm <laughs> constantly, but, um, I am starting to, uh, kind of pare things down a little bit. So this is the beginning of that. And I'm glad you were able to join me here for a bit. I really appreciate it. All of you ladies who joined me, Cynthia and Lisa and Rosita left, but, uh, who else was here? Karen. And, uh, did I say Cynthia? I think I did. Malia and Didi, I think, already left, too. Oh, I missed SM Saken. I'm sorry. I didn't see you. I just was scrolling up, and I see some of the people. Oh, hey, Tammy. I didn't see you come in, either. I'm sorry if you're still here. If not, um, sorry I missed you. Um, let's see. Who else did I miss? I'm scrolling up. My World of OKC actually said hello, and I didn't look up. I apologize. Okay. Who else did I miss? Da, 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 da. I'm scrolling up, I'm scrolling up, I'm back, um, I think I did say hi to I'm back, Karen, okay, hopefully I got everybody, and Mary, of course, she was the first one here, really appreciate you guys, oh, Lisa from Speech Fairies, she was here too, um, I don't know if you're still here, Lisa, but if you are, I'm sorry I didn't say hi sooner, as you saw, I was kind of like on my knees cleaning <laughs> for a little bit there, <laughs> Or maybe you didn't see, but anyway. All right, so. Oh, go for it, Julie. I'm sure everybody would love to, <laughs> to see your stash. I know we always do. I mean, we always do, right? Love to see. Whatever you show us, we love to see it. So, <laughs> okay. I'm going to head off. Um, I think that maybe I should get out of my pajamas. <laughs> but thank you so much again for joining me. I really appreciate every one of you, and I hope everybody has a blessed day. Oh, Sherry, did I miss you? I'm sorry. Thank you for saying you're here, and I'm sorry I didn't mean to make you cry. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for saying hello. And it's going to be hello and goodbye because I, I got to go now. <laughs> All right. But, yeah, I'm going to go, and I'll probably be back. I might not be back live, but I definitely have to record some videos because I go back to work next week. But I want to have some stuff to be able to keep uploading. So, yes, 
Um, uh, y'all see me. <laughs> yes, Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you so much again. And oh no, this is turning in one of those Italian goodbyes. Yes, my husband's Italian, and you know, if we're get, if we're gonna leave at five o'clock from the house, we have to start saying goodbye at three p.m. Right? Because goodbye takes at least two hours. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna take two hours to say goodbye, but I, I didn't want to miss anybody. I hope I didn't miss anybody, and if I did, please forgive me. Come back another time and give me another chance. <laughs> all right, ladies, love you all. Thank you for joining me. And have a wonderfully blessed day and a super duper blessed 2020. Bye-bye.